Hi guys, uh, welcome back uh, to the Arun Sharma Mindworks channel and we are doing Quant's question a day and uh, this is QQ83 in, in the first uh, set of uh, Quant's question a day and I've got an interesting question for you today. Let's have a look at the question. Uh, I want you to try to solve this first on your own. You can pause the video and you can think about this question before I show you how to actually do this question. Right? <coughs> so so the, the question says, a confused bank teller transposed the rupees and paise when he cashed a check for Sharjah, giving her rupees instead of paise and paise instead of rupees. That means that basically means if the check was five rupees 80, 80, 18 paise he gave eighteen rupees five paise. If it was fifty one rupees thirty three paise he gave thirty three rupees fifty one paise. <coughs> After buying a post toffee for rupees for fifty paise, Sharjah noticed, and this was a cat two thousand seven question as you can see. Here, uh, it, is, it is asked in 2007. So after buying a toffee for 50 paise, Shelja noticed that she was left with exactly three times as much as the amount on the check. Now this is an important trigger in the question. I keep telling you that you have to look for triggers in the question. And you have to, uh, you have to try to see what the question is instructing you. So which of the following is a valid statement about the check amount? So that's all. There's nothing else given. And these are the kind of questions uh, which which actually test your uh, actually test your problem solving skills uh, deeply because uh, if you if you try to go through mathematically on this uh, structure wise it will take take you a long time to actually uh, understand what's happening and also do the re requisite equations in fact this is a question cad where equations uh, will not work at all because how do you write equations there is no definite information for equations here yeah, you can, you can say that, okay, uh, if she had given uh, AB, if the check amount was AB point CD, if this was the check amount, then uh, <coughs> then she got, got back CD point AB from the cashier because the bank clerk, bank teller gave, gave her more money than, uh, than, than she got because it's obvious that he, she got more money because after spending 50 paise, she is still left with 3 times the check amount. And then from this you subtract 50 paise. That means 0 0.50. And you get 3 times AB point CD as the value. So if you think about this as an equation, and you try to work out which of these will happen, it's, it's pretty clear that uh, you're not getting, getting much. You have 4, and, uh, four uh, unknowns here. A, B, C, D and uh, you, you have only one equation. And uh, <coughs> of course, uh, if it's a maths question, kush na kush to hota hai equation ka rasta, but anyway, I mean, even if we, I don't want to get into that here because it's going to be really tough to actually do this that way. So how do you solve this question? And how do you solve this question in a 40 second, 50 second approach, one minute approach, maybe one and a half minutes, because if it's a cat, cat question, there has to be a one and a half minute approach to solve this. So the way to do this, to this, do this question is the question says let's let's look at this question again. Uh, <clears throat> the question says that whatever whatever amount for the check was, the amount uh, that was there on on a check uh, that got transport. Let's let's uh, call it a rupees b paise. Let's say this is the amount. Let's reduce the number of uh, variables here. Let's say she, she uh, gave a check for A rupees B paise. So she would get B rupees A paise. And from this, once she subtracted 50 paise, she got a value. This value was equal to three times the original value. Right? So what is the check amount? So there's nothing to do but, but here, I mean, as I, I always tell, tell people and uh, in all our courses, etc. also, what we try to teach that is that when you talk about QA, quantitative aptitude or, or mathematics uh, for CAT, you, you have three methods of solving questions. One method of solving question is, of course, algebraic, where you go completely through algebra. The second method of solving questions is numeric, where you're going only through numbers. You're not going algebraic at all. And the third number, third question type is where you use a little bit of algebra plus 
numbers while solving it and uh, of course if you go only numerical so so this this process by using only algebra i define as you start with algebra and you you go and end with algebra so a a a a a you are just going through algebraic equations and and twisting them around and turning them around to get to the answer the numerical approach obviously will be much faster if you can think numbers in a in a algebraic situation it will be much faster than the algebraic solution because not only is it uh, less cumbersome but a very important aspect of solving through numbers is that you will not write much so if you're not writing much automatically you're saving a lot of time so this is of course a much better process to solve questions but what i have realized in the last few last 15 years actually not last few but last 15 17 years of cat that uh, this is another very valuable approach where what you do is a couple of steps of algebra and then you go into numbers i'll show you uh, some questions where this becomes a very valuable approach for cat problem solving so i all often talk about the fact that when i started uh, taking the cat myself uh, as a as a maths as a quant problem solver i was completely numerical i would i would completely avoid the the, the algebraic part completely and i would be completely numerical and i could see the answers in most of the questions then but around 2000 2001 that approach i realized started affecting me in the cat because uh, cat gave started giving a lot of questions where you could not solve only through numbers so what cat started giving was a lot of questions where if you did a couple of steps of algebra the question will become much easier so so that's when i started moving i mean i also tried to develop that process and of course now i teach both these processes extensively in 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 our uh, in uh, whatever uh, uh, thinking that i teach uh, uh, for for quants that you have to be numerical as well as algebraic plus numerical but this is something you have to avoid at all costs because uh, if you go that way uh, completely algebraic in a problem solving situation you are going to get a lot of grief in terms of uh, the balance between time and uh, and how many attempts you are able to create in the exam so just remember this uh, we'll keep talking about this i'll keep referring back to this to the other questions so based on this thinking i would say that i'm i'm out of algebra in this question and i'm just thinking numbers so <clears throat> if i start thinking option about option a let this amount be 13 rupees something paise now i know that this something ru something paise 13 rupees third something rupees 13 paise minus 50 paise minus 50 paise has to end up as triple of this so when i'm feeling the numbers i realize that the number this this value has to be around 3 times this value so so based on that thought because because only then can you have a a triple relationship between this expression because ultimately when you are subtracting only 50 paise from this value magnitude wise you are not subtracting much so so that's that's what gives you the first thought the first trigger and the first reaction here that in 13 rupees i'm going to consider values like 1339 1340 1341 1342 etc these kind of values i'm going to check where the whether value of the uh, paise amount is around 3 times or just up more than that i mean i'll i'll just repeat what i'm trying to say here in a different context because i have been asked this uh quite a bit when i when i explain this question uh why does it have to be 39 to 42 paise uh let's let's think about it this way suppose i i don't keep that constraint suppose i think about 13 rupees 61 paise so when the bank teller will give me the opposite he gives me 61 rupees 13 paise now this is a multiplier of more than 4 now if i'm going to spend 50 paise from here there's no chance that my value is going to come out to be only 3 times this because only 3 times this is going to be 39 to 42 rupees so so something like 1361 can't work and that that's the same reason why 1350 can't work or 1320 can't work is the same reasons 1320 will give you the opposite side reaction so i know that my when i'm taking option 1 and this cat 2007 so there are five options there so when i'm picking option 1 and this question is i mean this thought will come maybe in 5 10 seconds of of thinking matlab isme kuch karna nahi hai just have to understand that this has to be done 
so when i start thinking about 1339 and i i go through this process of 1339 becoming 3913 and then i spend 50 paise out of this so the amount left with me is 3813 3863 and then i try to check whether this is equal to 3 times that and of course i realize it is not equal to 3 times that because this 3 times this will be more than 40 but the other thing i need to understand that's very critical at this point because you have to be able to read stuff like this inside questions the other thing i need to realize is that if i'm going to multiply this value by 3 my paise value at the end is going to be 7 whatever happens something something point something 7 it cannot not end in a 7 because 9 paise into 3 is going to give me an ending of value of 7 but here if i look at the 3 that i got here what is the source of the 3 the source of the 3 is this 3 and the source of that 3 is this 3 which means that next time i'm checking 13 39 i don't need to do all this i can actually just think this way if i realize that i can just think this way that 13 39 is not possible because 3 times this gives me a unit digit of 7 which is not equal to this unit digit which i need here of 3 so 13 39 won't work the same logic 13 40 won't work same logic same logic 13 40 won't work because 3 times this is not equal to 3 1341 can work but 1342 can't work again because 1342 with 3 times 2 is not equal to this 3 i'm just repeating the logic once more for for those of you who couldn't catch this if i go through the 1342 because after this each value check is maybe 5 3 to 5 seconds only and this question can be done within 2 minutes so uh, If I'm checking 1342, what's going to happen if I do the full check? 1342 is going to become 4213, and when I subtract 50 paise from that, please notice this three is nothing but this three. And when I subtract 50 paise, whatever the value is going to come to me is going to end in three. Now this value, according to the question, has to be equal to triple this value. which is not possible because once the unit digit last digit does not match 2 3 6 6 it does not match the 3 it's not going to happen so in the 13 to 14 uh, uh, range basically i am just focused on 1341 because that's the only way place where triple the last digit gives me a value equal to this digit so i just need to check whether it's happening at 1341 the the whole story plays out So the bank teller will give you forty-one thirteen in this case. You'll spend fifty paise, and you will be left with forty sixty-three, forty rupees sixty-three paise, and you can check that if thirteen third forty-one is multiplied by three, the value actually comes to forty point two three. So this is a value that is not matching when you play the whole whole formula or the whole story out. So thirteen to fourteen is not a value. that you want to consider here what about 7 to 8 can it be 7 rupees 20 paise the answer is no because in this case the source of the unit digit one way will be the 7 and the other will way will be 0 into 3 and you realize whether you to take 721 or 722 or 723 into 3 on this digit is not going to give me a 7 in any case So, so seven rupees, uh, more than seven rupees, and less than eight rupees is gone. It's not going to work. If I look at twenty-two, twenty-three, I might want to start from twenty-two rupees sixty-six paise. Not working because six threes are, and this two don't match value-wise. Twenty-two, sixty-seven does not work. Twenty-two, sixty-eight does not work. Twenty-two, sixty-nine does not work. so all these four cases pe work nahi karta hai because unit digit into 4 into 3 is not giving me the two here that i need here so this option and this option go away 
in literally 10 seconds each. When you come to 18 rupees, more than 18, less than 19. If you start with 18, let's say 54, it's not going to work because 54, 4 into 3 is not going to give me the 8. Then you go to 18, 55, not going to work because 5 into 3 is not going to give me 8. So I spot 18.56 as a possible value. So because 6 3 is a 8 will happen here. So let's see what happens with 18.56 in this question. So when I when I started 18.56, I uh, interchange the rupees and paise. I get 56.18. And then I subtract 50 paise from there. So I'll get 55 rupees 68 paise. And if I check this multiplied by 3, I see that it is indeed the same value. And hence, a possible value for the uh, check amount is 18 rupees 56 paise, and option D is the right answer. So, this is how you, you have to be smart about your CAD problem solving. CAD will test your problem solving situations, your problem solving structures. I, do you have the problem solving? Mechanisms in your head. Are you able to solve problems? Because as a manager, you're supposed to solve to be solving problems. So I hope you enjoyed this this question, and I'll be back with you uh, with more on this. For the time being, I'll take your leave. Bye bye, everyone. Thank you so much.